Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Muckle Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Kaiser Redux, in which we are playing as that good old German Empire, but unfortunate news my friends, for it's February 10th, 1936, and we have a little bit of a Black Monday. Not good, and we are finishing up Imperial Restructuring. Well, it is an undeniable fact that the German Empire is the greatest nation to ever grace the pages of history. There's always room for improvement. In light of recent shortcomings in our administration, we should look into making various policy changes and reforms for a better future. Which will probably be a good thing to do. The Great Berlin Stock Market Crash, you can never escape poverty. Oh boy. The Easter Promises doesn't sound bad because I want to get more political power, of course. Then again, I do would like to get around to... Uh, down here. State of the Economy. Not very good right now. Uh, let's do Easter Promises or... Hmm, well, what does it ha we don't have to do that one immediately. See, the economy is not good either. Subsidies. Well, well, really, I do want you guys to know that we do have a path guide here. In which we have one guy associated. We can get the Schleicher Pot out Germany. As well as we can get to the Rotten Morgan German Civil War. But I have a feeling I want to go with the top one here. Wait for the German's election to so Reich's Chancellor and vote in, Sch in Schleicher. And finish the Polizei auf G Gabens Gazette's focus. Cool. So we gotta wait for the election, so let's just go and get some more political power that Easter promises. On the 7th of April, 1917, when the war was at its very worst, after the horrifying turnip winter, the Kaiser promised substantial reforms in the abolition of three class voting systems of Russia. However, he promised all that without offering an actual date, it might be time to remind the Kaiser of his promises. Which look pretty good on political power for now, but run on the banks. German citizens, panicked by the collapse of the Berlin stock market, are rushing to make banks run, bank runs to withdraw their assets. The banks cannot afford to give out much so, such sums, and many are in danger of collapse. Many are clamoring for immediate government intervention to stabilize this unprecedented financial crisis. Do nothing. Guarantee the holdings of private industries, uh, individuals. Well, it looks like we need to spend political power pretty much immediately. Ooh, we can invade Den Denmark? Our small northern, northern neighbor doesn't seem to know what is good for them. With them, we could shield the Baltic Sea and from the outside, from outside encouragement, but their narrow-minded policy of neutrality makes this impossible. We need to move in because significantly more important interests are at stake than the tradition of neutrality of the small North Sea country. Um, as at war with those guys. Okay, that'd be interesting. Uh, we could recruit a head of intelligence, which, which would be very nice actually right now. Actually, but we can go to early mobilization. Ooh. So you get more cap, you get 20% more uh, factory speed, and you get 5% more consumer goods and more fuel gain per oil. As much as I want to get another operative slot, going to early mobilization would be good. Uh, let's do close the banks up early. That seems really bad for us. But we'll do it anyways. After the Easter Promises, approving new stop to Hitler. Uh, but Kuban asked for bailout first. The government of the Kuban People's Republic has asked for a bailout. While we're currently trying to deal with the problems first, Kuban can be a vital ally in a confrontation with Russia and open the caucus to us, and it's black gold, of course. Help him a bit. What is Kaban? Here, he can have as much as you want. But this guy. With the reason death of Wilhelm himself, a new Stahl Hitler is needed to rule the massive colony, of course, in Middle Africa. For decades. Uh, Sulf has ruled over our African mega colony, guiding it with intelligent and transformative pro policies that have only brought more profit from the dark continent while keeping internal instability at an all time low. This tragic death means that we are left with a hard decision to make. What's one that we got to do quickly? The Middle African administration has decided to aid in the selection process as best they can or want to by offering a candidate by they deem suitable for the post. They put forth a certain Herman Goring, some dude, as a preferred candidate, citing his father's story career in Sudwest Africa and his long record of diligent, if overly harsh, colonial administration, however. Many wary of Goring's rising ambitions and reputation for depravity and as such. Many suggest we deny this appointment and instead send the trusted Heinrich Schnee instead. What should we do? Uh, recalled. He can later recall someone from Middle Africa, proves, deny and Schlesher. Um, approved. He'll do okay down there, right? Oh, good. He's kind of handsome. A bullish uh, monopolies crash in the wake of the Black Monday. Some of our corporate interests in Poland have gone bankrupt. We now have received words that the new Polish government, ever irritated at our economic interests in the country, have moved to seize our corporate assets in the country, effectively removing our control over their economy. Quite a disaster. And we're still building, though, which is nice. Hey, it's just interruption. Ooh, the Kaiser lay sprawled in his opulent lounge chair, sipping on coffee while listening to his favorite radio station as it played classical waltzes by the Kaiserreich's greatest composers, as His Majesty relaxed. Enjoying his leisure time, and like any royal should, a sudden crackling disruption in his favorite broadcast pulled him from the blissful trance as a familiar voice began to interrupt Strauss's Kunstleben, Opus th uh, uh, 316. 
Attention to all Jewish citizens of His Majesty's glorious Kaiserreich, the, the voice declared. If you desire a home of your own, look no further than the Kaiser's beautiful colony on the island of Madagascar. Aid and an easy start are given to all of God's chosen people. At this point, Willem had recognized an interrupting voice coming through the radio as none other than Reinhard Heydrich, Hauptmann and Admiral of the Col Madagascar colony. Join us on this pristine island and be free once and for all in this new promised land. We offer work, food, and shelter to all sons of Abraham, seeking asylum or simply a chance to a better life from free from oppression. The voice continued to blare. The Kaiser sat back in his chair as Hadrich's advertisement droned on. Perturbed over Hadrich's arrogant display and, the, and, over, and over the interruption of one of his favorite songs. For now, he would let this go, but he made a mental note to contact Hadrich soon to put the young admiral back in his place with that. Willem simply switched the radio station and sipped his coffee, drifting back into a lull. He better not try anything above his station. Black Week comes to an end. The situation hardly improved in the days following Black Monday, which was the start of what became known as Black Week. The panic selling of stocks reaching all-time highs. People tried to dump their stocks before they became worthless when the Berlin stock market crashed at the end of the week. The market was dead as 11 major economic experts and top executives of Germany had committed suicide. Ha, good. The German government had to act. We must reform the economy. The Emir requests arms. We have received a message from the far-off land of Afghanistan asking for weapons to fight the British Raj. Some of our advisors say we should send them at once, as as an Afghan victory would be a deep bruise to the Entente. The Niedermeyer Hentig expedition, after all, is still in the graveyard of empires, and increased funding and support to them wouldn't be a gargantuan task, however, others. I remind the Kaiser that Entente is currently in exile, and we have more present enemies than just across the border to the west. There are more pressing enemies than our old grudges, some say. What should we do? We should help the Afghanistan? The spirit of 1914. Let's focus on Threat's home at first. Honor their obligations. Who needs political power? We can assume direct control of the East Asian Navy. Uh, the German East Asian Navy will be a valuable asset to our naval strategy. It'd be better off if it was more closely integrated in the Berlin's command structure. Now, I don't know what this is going to do. I don't remember if I've ever done Kaiser Redux normally with Ger the German Empire. I might have. But what do you guys recommend? Should we assume control of the East Asian Navy? I mean, maybe we won't have that option forever because... East Asia does die, but like, I don't know. Let me know what you guys do in your campaigns. Do you usually annex them? Do you just like, so, slurp, slurp, I want your navy? Or do you like, nah, we good? Actually, can we get involved? Can we get some volunteers? Oh, we can send volunteers. How many volunteers can we send? We can send two boys. We got some infantry. We got a whole smorgasbord of people here, too. Uh, do we have any mountaineers? Look at like we have marines, and we have horses. How good are the horses? They are. Okay, those are the tanks. Oh, God damn it. Oh, God. And you guys are what? 20, 18 guys with? Was it two or three? It's two. I want to send volunteers. Well, that's our playing base, but. Whoop, by Fu turns on us. Following the death of, of the League Marshal's son, Chuang Fang. He had, we had hoped that our ally in Beijing, Wu Pai Fu, would remain loyal to our interests. It seemed, however, that he has taken this moment to turn on us and take a publicly anti concession stance. Well, this has been bolstered, this has bolstered support for his unpopular regime. It means that he has demanded the Peking Commission, our lobbying arm in Beijing, leave the city. Facing massive riots outside the gates of their offices, most members have fled to Tian Tianjin. At our embassy, the ambassador sent all non essential staff to Tianjin as well, and only a skeleton group of consular officials remain, closely watched by Fu's forces. Darn him. Well, it is what it is. The Foud. Oh, maybe I sent to the wrong group. Oh, well, I don't care, whatever. I'm just here for uh, Army XP anyway. The Freie Arbeiter Union Deutschland, the Free Workers Union of Germany, is an umbrella of organization of several trade unions founded during the turbulent period in 1919. During the French Revolution, they have repeatedly denounced the syndicalist terror and therefore have been allowed to operate unimpeded until now. However, intelligence services have produced definite proof that their leaders are in contact with syndicalist organizations in other nations, such as CNTF and CNTFAI in Spain. We also suspect that some members may be directly plotting against the Kaiser. Force them underground? Uh, operate? Nope. Force money ground. We didn't need political power. Corner lob. Oh boy. Oh crap. That's not good. That's really not good. Embrace them? No, we good. A Christian trade union. That's not bad. Expand Babelsberg? Democracy in Prussia. Women's suffrage. Um, ban these guys. Aftermath of Black Monday. The Great Stock crash of 1936, while they known as Black Monday, has already had a massive uh, impact on German politics, culture, and society. While the damage might never be truly known, let alone fixed, we should enact reforms and recovery policies to regain some of our lost capacity. So, what are we doing here? Having a good old time? Yes, no, maybe so. I'm saying Nanjing's about to die. About to kick the bucket there, Nanjing. 
the Halbstock of Terra. With the devastating economic situation, many families struggle to earn their daily bread, and the social security net is being strained to the breaking point. In recent weeks, the streets of many German cities have been increasingly terrorized by gangs of teenagers. These Halbstocker steal products from the markets and shops, and often money from innocent pedestrians, or commit acts of vandalism to escape boredom and frustration. Few citizens feel safe on the street anymore, and it's clear that some in the government might see it merely as low-level civil disorder, instead as the makings of total societal breakdown. Mein Gott, how shocking! financial troubles in the colonies. Some maverick politicians proposed distributing more resources to the colonies to the detriment of the German national, which would obviously not be popular. Eight of our cities will work for the needs of our colonies for a year. Five of our cities. Ten or we can't help them in our dire times. They can have as much as they want. We will sacrifice whatever we need for those colonies to be successful. Wildcat strikes. Uh, so do we have any planes here at all? Can you say anything? 80. Okay, that's not bad. 80. Good way to get some XP, hopefully. But we will see. You guys actually go in here. That'd be pretty good if you could. Yeah, not bad. Agriculture crisis in the middle of Europe. During this time of great crisis, the complacent uh, uh, agricultural sector of the German economy has proven to be particularly vulnerable to the economic downturn. With some minds of Junkers representing the land of nobility, the Kingdom of Prussia, have asked for protectionist legislation and state subsidies for the agricultural production. By posing tariffs on foreign produce, we will strengthen the vital sector of the Reich's economy and protect our farmers. Unfortunately, such measures are likely to cause further damage to our economy for, to our neighbors. Depending as they are on German markets for the food exports. The wheat crop in Ukraine is particularly vulnerable, and choosing to enact protectionist measures might seriously damage them and our other agricultural or agrarian partners. Protect our own peasants. We shall not rescue. Yep. Please don't kill them off. Oh, why would you do that? As we're doing this other stuff. Why? Don't get wrong, I like the political power, but still. The DKAEB approaches bankruptcy. The Deutsche Kaiserliche Abbasinin Eisenbahn Railway was established in the early 20th century and linked Addis Ababa to Djibouti. After a series of German backed expansions, now used mainly to transport ore from the Congo Basin and Middle Africa to Djibouti, because of the German economic downturn worldwide, ore is no longer being purchased at the rate it once was, resulting in fewer transports for the DPAEB. The situation has now reached such a level that the railway itself is nearing bankruptcy, so they keep it running. Rhineland unrest. Workers in the Rhineland are protesting against the recent anti-leftist actions of our government, especially the scandalous crackdown on the FUAD, which many Rhenish uh, citizens view as a legitimate institution free of serious syndicalist influences, and is strong in its support for the working man. So hopefully this will not cause tragedy. Get more stability. Liquidate unprofitable states. Huh. Bail out the Junker states. Do we really want to bail them out? Gold standard. Huh. Reichsarbeitdienst. Well, we might want to introduce the police here. The syndicalist terror is nearly as bad as it was back in 1928 when Reichsbank President Karl von Heffelreich was shot by lone gunmen. Back then, a countrywide crackdown brought some measure of peace, but now security forces seem powerless. There have been proposals to find a new police force. The Verdict Reichspolizei, the Vepo, would work in the shadows to save us all from the darkness of radicalism. The Kenyatta Sof Affair. An unusual case to reach the highest court in the German state, anti-colonial activist Jomo Kenyatta has brought a class action lawsuit against former African Staat Hitler Wilhelm Self. The case has become something of an embarrassment as some of the plaintiffs are veterans of the Valkyrie and cannot be easily dismissed. They claim that the Self's administration harmed them through policies of illegal land seizures and even abductions and torture. All due to Self's knowledge and little legal basis, quietly the foreign officers explain to the government that such things are common and necessary in our colonial administration. They strongly urge a cautious motion. What's the worst that could happen? Armor? Because I would like to get some heavy tanks eventually. When in doubt, we'll like them heavy. Let's do as much damage as we possibly can. So what is this like? So we don't get daily army XP, huh? Okay, well I guess we do start with this stuff, I guess. More attack. That's not bad. One seeked. Not bad. Not bad. Interesting. Quite interesting, actually. Do I have it function like this? Kingdom of Poland joins Middle Europa. Okay, then. A delegation has arrived from the Kingdom of uh, Poland, offering to join the Middle Europa Union as its newest member. We, we have naturally agreed this new trade partner will make a fine addition to our collection. It's only a trade partner. I thought they joined our faction. Dang it. 
I'll get to help these guys out too. The graveyard of Empire stirs. As the Anglo Afghan war rages on, Kabul has come to us for crossing plains and a contingent of elite troops to aid them in defeating the British Indians in the Delhi. The war is highly contested right now, with both sides having a fair chance of victory. Our support could help tip the balance of favor of the Afghans, especially in the battle for the air, since Afghanistan and the German Empire are on friendly terms. Helping the Afghans out would reaffirm our ties and further improve relations in addition. Such a move would surely come as a snub to the Canadians, something that is always welcomed by the German people. But, with black money currently ravaging our economy and the Empire having bigger problems to deal with in Afghanistan's distant wars, perhaps it might be best to keep the planes and a mentor ourselves. Some point out that while it would be nice to have a strong friend in the region, supporting the Afghans comes with the risk of upsetting the Canadians at a time when their new king provides an opportunity for new relations. It would undoubtedly hurt us in the long run should Delhi emerge victorious. We must choose carefully. Send the planes boys over. Wow, daily army XP. Not bad. We sympathize with Afghanistan struggles, but we simply cannot aid him at this time. Cool, let's send him over. So, when do we go bankrupt? Woo hoo, huh? We want to go over at least and be able to get a nice little landing here. So, Romania nationalizes their oil fields. After the complete crash of the oil lands leasehold company managing the police, the oil fields of Condro's government proceeded to nationalize the assets of the bankrupt corporation. This is yet another case of Romania breaking the Bucharest Treaty, but there's little we can do to stop them. Neither does the public care much about the issue. If they think they can survive without mental Europa, then so be it. Oh, no, elected, huh? First International Congress, eh? All right, very nice. Up them out. Not them out. Send so, first move. The residents are meeting to coordinate their activities, which are def definitely aimed against the order we've established in Europe for following our victory in the Valkyrie. We must watch this meeting and analyze its results carefully. I don't want to end this war too quickly, so... Aftermath of Block Monday. Hmm. Authoritarian Democrat. Balance budget. Hmm. Reich's Autobite Deans. Help companies? Many German companies have been hit hard by the Black Monday due to an almost step of total stop of income for a week and are struggling to survive the market has not yet fully recovered. And they can't nearly cover their expenses. Maybe we should invest in these companies to ensure their survival. Sacrifices are to be made. It must be done. Bail them out? I don't want to bail anybody out. Ban French organizations? Uh, we can't do that one too. Liquidate them? Actually, yeah. Look at the unprofitable states. The statesman. Uh, Willem Grun has recently published an essay titled The Black Zero, The Need for Austerity, in which he demands absolute balance and discipline, even if it means losing some companies depending on the subsidies. The essay has found a lot of adherence within the populace, and liquidating a few unprofitable companies may be just what we need to alleviate our expenditures. Although to Costa Rica, of course, requests our assistance first, though. Disaster has the otherwise quiet nation of Costa Rica... Uh, Rats hit it when the ZKG crashed hard on the Berlin Stock Exchange just a few weeks earlier, dragging the nation into a hell out of which it will never be able to recover on its own. To save it from, from a complete collapse, the small nation was requested a loan to bail out the ZKG. Okay. Greece series is German assets. Thanks to the rippling effects of Black Monday, German investors who held majority shares in Greek factories and mines have been closing these businesses down. In some cases because they're unprofitable, but in others because the investors have gone bankrupt. The Greek government has responded by seizing the companies, despite the Treaty of Salonika signed after the war, stipulating that our investors have unfettered access to their economy. Many of the government are suggesting we respond harshly and not only apply sanctions, but will pull all investment out for the Hellenic Republic altogether. Others say the country is only trying to save float. Black Monday said all of us hard. We're all trying to cope here, huh? Hmm. Is there anything about Greece here in the focus tree? No. Uh, probably won't even matter that we do anything. Let's see. I don't know what the Greek focus tree is like. Ah, I need some stuff to Afghanistan. God, it's a mess down there. Um, anything here unique, different? They want a referendum of the monarchy. Has been held. Hmm. Hmm. Prepare for war. Restore its former glory. Autocratic Greece. Well, you know what? Let it be. We're all trying to cope. We'll do that one for now just because we can. Something, something, I want to choose something that I would normally would not choose. And that's something I definitely would not choose normally. Alright, let's see if we can send you guys over. We should play Afghanistan sometime. Do they have any planes here? 40, not bad. Could be better, but that's alright. Should have done this way earlier, but whatever. 
public soup kitchens. Since the recent waves of unemployment, oh, look at that. After the black money, many people are dependent on charity work and soup kitchens. The churches and the Red Cross have already called for help from all those that can afford to give their money or food as, it, as they cannot feed everyone right now. Maybe we should supply the soup kitchens and open state run ones in order to provide food for the masses. Tanner belts. We will not let our people starve. Sure, why not? Come in, our friend shows its true face. The Reds are clearly set to spread their poison as they demonstrated, uh, was shown during the last session of elections. Once we prepare for anything, we must be ready. Yeah, pretty much. Goes the war with Long Ching next. Oh boy. Malta declares independence. Oh, uh, the fall from Black Money continued to wreak havoc upon our both our economy and wider empire at large. Our great and mighty Zikai's Reich has fallen, begun to falter. Our tendrils of influence that once spread across the globe will now wither and die as local groups use this time of weakness to exact their dastardly plans for independence. Across the Kaiserreich, bastions of German influence faltered to a native unrest and seditious activity, usurping colonial mandates and military garrisons in the far reaches of our Kaiserreich. One such region, using this time of instability to their advantage as a new Salons of Malta, will use their considerable fortunes to rally the local Maltese political factions under shared banner and a semi cohesive and barely cooperating coalition aimed at topping the German garrison that has held the island since the fall of the British Empire. Though these new Salons have vast once a wealth at their disposal, their influence has been vastly drowned out by the swelling tide of Maltese nationals and nativist sentiments that have consumed the archipelago, and the rule over Malta shall soon and surely fall to one of the myriad of local political factions that have temporarily set aside the differences to free the island from her grasp. Despite being an important naval and air base for the Kaiserreich, Malta serves no larger or necessary purpose within our empire, and black money is still ravaging our economy, we are in a little position to stop them. It seems that Malta has more independence, for at least for now. Oh no. Anyways... Basic machine tools in 1936. Cool. Get some of that too. Thank you. Bailout for banks. Your government was approached by several bankers which have assured us that without a bailout, they will not survive. Much longer as many of the assets and forms of shares have been reduced to no value during Black Monday. <clears throat> The biggest problem for the company would be that with the bank's demise, almost all companies they hold a majority of shares in will likely also go down with them. Of course, we'll not help them. I tricked my grandmother for some pennies too. It's no. Why would we? Rhenish Strikers Cave. The slow war of attrition between us and the Strikers have won by the government. The Strikers, seeing little success in the efforts, have decided to call off their efforts. Alright, you know, we are some, lose some alpha, but whatever. Happens. Did we win yet? Here or here? Woohoo, yes, very nice. Onchin would be very good too. Expropriations. One solution for the mass poverty that is falling on us like a sickness is the idea of expropriating the rich elites to feed the masses. This idea is obviously very unpopular with most members of the government, but could be your last way to avoid total chaos. We are not cynicalists. Sometimes the needs of many come first. Guns from Middle Africa. <coughs> Excuse me. Our new colonial administration in Africa has seen gains in light industrialization during using cheap and even forced labor for industrial production. This has significantly reduced the cost of manufacturing and provides with additional equipment. Nice, you can never have enough guns. Oh, we are not cynicalists. Well, it doesn't really matter. Um, what gives us more PP? Or loses PP? Yeah, let's lose PP. Well, oh, is that the max? For negative amount? Oh, maybe. Military expansion, we can wait on that. We'll probably liquidate this stuff first. Ban French organizations would be nice, but yeah, liquidate these guys. Oh, to for the Mountain Republic. The government of the Mountainous Republic of the Northern Caucasus has offered us a new oil treaty. They want to grant us the resource rights in Dagestan in exchange for investing in the country's fledging economy. Though our purse strings are tight right now, the amount of oil they possess is almost too good to pass up. How should we respond? No deal. Then what? Malta leaves Middle Europa. Malta severed the last of its ties with Middle Europa today. The left-wing revolution in the country has pushed them to break with us and our spheres of influence. Any designs we might have had towards our country have, seems to have been, been abandoned for the time being. Traitors. Return to normalcy. It seems like everything is slowly returning to normal normality again. Maybe our recent interventions in the economy and our welfare at work has just averted another crisis. Who would ever know? Um, uh, I'll buy Dienst. Um, uh, yeah, liquidate. Complete finalized centralization. Oh, crap. Oh, uh, yeah. Finalized centralization as well. Ooh. Restore the Bundesrat. Where's that one? 
Hmm. Where's? Oh, it's down that one. Okay, so <clears throat> democracy. If you want to unlock Kupon on Shlaka's path, it is important that you don't complete this focus before 1937 election. Oh, okay. Democracy and pressure is not bad. Further uh, central decentralization. Organize the youth. Yeah, we could use that one. Okay, why not? Some experts have suggested that the best solution against the current lawlessness in our nation's youth would be organizing them so that they can learn new skills and employ that new their energy for the public good. The fat find our organization would require increased spending for such an endeavor. Oh my goodness. This looks pretty bad. Let's see. Are these guys attacking or defending? There's a lot of divisions there. It's quite a few. You guys are starving a little bit too. Um, I have no idea where to send you guys. Like this maybe? Kind of hang out. Have a good time. It's the best time you possibly can down there. Paulus? Yes. Oh, did they win? Nice job, guys. You might want to help out up here though. Suffragists movement gather strength. Lately, there's been increased momentum in the, in the women's suffrage movement, which seeks to force the government to enfranchise women by giving them the right to vote and stand for elected office. In this troubled times for the empire, we must be careful in formulating a policy response liable to cause domestic tensions. Granting the suffragists what they ask would anger the more conservative elements of our government, particularly members of the Reichstag, a body currently elected solely by universal male suffrage. On the other hand, a certain refusal followed by repulsals may lead to further protests and entire riots, especially in the more liberal states, many of which have already permitted, permit female voting in regional uh, assemblies. Well, greatly increase. Is the cause worth supporting? Promise, but do nothing? Know your limits. Coup d'etat. Oh, have fun. Yeah, organize youth would be good to do next, maybe. South African People's Union, huh? The Council and the Radio. Oh, that's not bad, too. I like that one as well. The Round Rebellion succeeded. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Good job, guys. Ethnic conflict on Sri Lanka. If you wonder about white son of China, please go right ahead. Ceylon Island is settled by the Sinhalese and the Tamils, who battled for supremacy on the island for ages. Well, with Black Monday wrecking havoc on our economy and colonial administration, disobedience from the na native population is becoming intolerable. Our presence on Ceylon, crucial for its supplies of rubber, is becoming increasingly precarious. Darn those nationalists. Proved engine, nice. 34 wouldn't be bad. It's going to get it in 1940, so that, that, that'll take a while, quite a while to do. Keep defending, guys. You're doing great. Nice York. Nice. Still losing planes here? Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Organize the youth. And I want, I do want to do this one, too. It gave more stability, which is really nice. We could do Christian Trade Union. More st factory output. Or stability. Honestly, stability would be really good as well. Yeah. Uh, the crisis has taken shaking the Germans' uh, belief in the country. Public faith is key, so starting weekly radio addresses to the announce of what steps the government has taken to combat the crisis will help avoid panic and keep trust in our administration. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. These guys are killing off down People's Republic, huh? Well, they... Oh, Semyon Budyanov. That sounds slightly familiar. Hmm, where have I heard that name before? Padma Olenov, huh? Tempted. Assassination. Oh, it's not going to be easy trying to fight Kornilov, is it? Oh, we have more than enough fuel. I forgot. Your turn. Train, train, train. A Lithuanian envoy. Envoys arrived from Lithuania, wishing to invite representatives from our government to negotiate a new trade deal. Currently, due to the Treaty of brest litovsk and our subsequent agreements, we have restricted Lithuanian trade from the Baltic Sea. Their goods either go through Memel or Riga. It is now. It appears that they wish to have unrestricted access to the Baltic Sea, circumventing Memel and Riga. Okay. Oh boy. Now this is important that we get involved here. My love, if you wonder about that, please go ahead. Thank you. Well, I guess we get more army speed down here too. That's really nice. Actually, do we still have to? Yeah. Do stuff like normal. Deutsch, Ost, Asian. Is there any way we can help you? We got 5,500 guns and like eight artillery pieces here. Five thousand guns and like eighty pieces. I know it's not much. That's the best we can do. 
the Liberian asked for aid. Oh, the Liberian government, crippled by the effects of black money on top of their overwhelming national debt, has sent an envoy requesting the German government assist with a bailout. We have our own issues to deal with, but the amount they de need is desperately small by comparison. And in return, it seems like they'll like, join a military alliance in time, so what's, what, what's that worth? Is another African ally worth the expense of being so magna magnanimous? Magnanimous. Nope. Christian Trade Union. Ban French organizations. Council on the radio. Yeah, let's do that one. Getting more stability is really good. Set in talk? Okay, very nice. Heil dem Kaiserreich. Christian Trade Union. Finish Black Money Reforms. We're going to wait for this one. Democracy in Prussia. Even more stability would be very, 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 very good too, so. Uh, the current voting system in Prussia is archaic and undemocratic. The people are split into three strata according to their income, with the lowest strata representing over 60% of the population, receiving as many delegates as the upper one, which represents less than 10%. We should finally implement universal, secret, and equal franchise for all German citizens. Or citizens of Germany. German citizens. Citizens of Germany. Oh. Oh, wow. These guys are about to lose hard here. We're not making any more divisions? Oh, that's true, we're not. God dang it. Nope. Not even gonna bother using you. Not even for militia. You guys are okay. Artillery. Tanks, no. Guard, uh... Honestly, that's not bad. There you go. Because we're definitely gonna need them. Oh, well, crap. Well... How do we deal with the Belgium's uh, the revolution? While well, we're busy solving our own problems, uh, uh, Adelbert, King of Flanders and Valonia, has been deposed and sent back and by his people. Even though this is an outrageous event, we have to handle the situation carefully as a war will hinder our recovery and may provoke syndical aggression. Delegates of the new Belgian state have to come with a proposal of their own. They request we sign a treaty guaranteeing the newfound sovereignty and rebalancing the currently one sided economic system in exchange that they would rejoin the Kreisbach, expand their army, and be a first line of defense against the syndicalist threat. German holdings and companies would remain in charge of large parts of industry and special programs would be largely kept be kept aiding German citizens in their integration into Belgium or alternatively their return home. I just want to kill them off, man. 5, 10,000 manpower, 3 to 8 divisions. Hmm. Well, let's see. Could you guys stack up on the border, have a lot of supply issues, like that, like that. Probably. Probably a lot of issues, actually. Any other planes? We got some bombers. Some cast. Not really. That sucks. Better go in. It's only political power, you know. Supply issues? We don't believe in supply issues here. Army offense? Sure, why not. Why do Ruthenia ask for increased self-governance? A community key from the government of the Ruthenia and King Valdemar the first von Hohenzollern requested more autonomy in their economic policy. They justify this by both claiming it would be easier to uh, ease in the burden of their still-growing economy on the recovering German one, uh, and that would make it their own shaky of government appear more legitimate. Depends on Tannis Republic, huh? 36. Yeah, you can have that. You can have it. Why not? You might say there. Social Democrats. Oh boy. Do we like Social Democrats? My gosh, that's so much. That's so expensive. Do you want, I, are we are making carriage right now, but at the same time, uh, I prefer Fleen Bing. Why are we losing so much here? I think we have a lot of planes here too. Let's have a Kamal shot. German intervention in the Baltic conflict. Immediately after the beginning of the Black Monday, the fragile Byzantine government of the UBD descended into political infighting, and its government froze because of its antiquated system. The situation in the state decayed to a point where a mass underground Latvian and Estonian rebellion broke out to overthrow it. This was not cause for concern at first, as the belief was that it was professional veteran forces of the Baltische Landwehr were able to suppress resistance. Once this belief turned out to be foolishly optimistic, our forces have chosen to take matters to their own hands. 
A detachment of Marines supported by the Baltic Sea Fleet and a Hayat Infantry Brigade have landed in Riga, cleared by the city of Latvian resistance fighters and secured a perimeter around the city. Expansion further from the Riga base are not to be impossible without additional reinforcement as the local Baltic forces have essentially disintegrated. Thus, the German army commanded Riga and agreed to instead prop up the city municipal government, led by Helmut Stegmann, as a continuation state of the former duchy. This has salvaged our influence in the Baltic region, but also requires us to define our foreign policy regarding the new states of Latvia and Estonia, I see, and of course, Costa Rica. Uh, and request the German garrisons. Rising instability in the USA and nearby reg and re regimes in Central America have forced a small nation to come for us for aid, reminding us of the strong ties between our two nations and the significant German population living there in, the, in their territory. They asked that we station a small regiment in San Jose in order to deter threats. Well, this has short term implications on relations with the United States. We're uh, sure that they will understand that we're acting for the greater good, of course. Of course. All right, democracy in Prussia. International Amagon, war simulates the economy. Due to the war, industrial production across several sectors has skyrocketed, and the workforce has endeavored to fulfill their patriotic duties. This has had a positive effect on the economy by reducing the aftermath of the Black Monday crash. It seems the economy is finally showing signs of life. Well, we'll see. And they're gone. I don't like lag. Sure, thanks, Morocco. Um, put on autocrats, put on autocrats. Direct rule, huh? Gation cities. Well, we'll see. Georgian state. Democracy in Prussia. A Christian trade union. By founding the Deutsche Christelischer. Uh, Gewerkschaftsbund is a state-owned endorsed union. We'll hopefully establish a bulwark against attacks on the workers' loyalty from left and right. Workers will be able to voice their concerns under the moral auspices or authority of priests. And the guiding hand is Simus Episcopus the Kaiser. Oh, daily political power of the park marks point of no return. Oh, I kind of like that one. But we need to ban French organizations. Yeah, I'll get there eventually, though. Beta Belgium. After a short campaign across the fields of Belgium, we now control the region. What's sad what to do with it? Uh, Belgium is a very divided country. Splitting it on cultural lines might make for less trouble afterwards. Flat of the Baltic Germans. Under pressure. Look at that. From Latvian and Estonian insurgents, the United Baltic Duchies collapsed and capitulated, and the Baltic regions fall into chaos. While many of the Baltic Germans have made their way to Riga, others have chosen to head straight to Germany. Many of them are fearing for their lives and have little belongings with them, and these refugees have flooded their ports into the Baltic Sea. Among them are numerous soldiers and officers of the Baltic Landwehr, including several generals who now offer their services to the Imperial German Army. There's no doubt in their loyalty to the German Empire, nor their skill in ma military matters. The Landswehr was known as one of the most elite forces in the Reichspact for good reason. Welcome, we don't need their help. No. What, what? That makes no sense, but... Stegman's still here, huh? Hey, here we long! Hey! Actually, that's not bad for us. Birthright res restored. That sounds awesome. Distressed mystery hunt. Do we have any? Oh, because we have no planes, huh? Sucks. Are we just not making any? Uh, might as well get that one done. Um, attack bombers. Oh, we have no military factories. I mean, that, just, that doesn't help us at all. Good number five. Good. Make sure at least everyone. It's most things at least one factory to work on stuff. So we will get some uh, transport planes too, which I think would be good. I think it'd be quite good. Nice. Good. Heavy fires. This stuff is all good. Uh, we might want some anti-tank as well, maybe. Let's get some logistics first, though. Coup d'etat in Algiers. So, so if we have max fuel, go all the way, then. Communist established a socialist anti-colonial committee. <clears throat> Words of spread. The Communist of France, alongside the other members of the International Office, established a socialist anti-colonial committee. It aims to support the cause of Arabs in North Africa and liberating their homelands from the hands of the colonial powers, and so are protected in Morocco. Together with other members of the Syndicalist International, revived the Muslim Committee. Not Brotherhood, but Committee. And formerly known as the Socialist Muslim Committee. This body is coordinating the Syndicalist powers' actions in the Middle East. Our intelligence reports show that there is a small influx of Egyptian left-wing radicals who want to fight for a revolutionary cause. While we're not at war with the Communist of France, nor in any Syndicalist country, we should be very cautious. Treason, plots, sabotage, and fate of Belgium. I don't like lag. Direct rule is the only way. Yeah, we gotta wait for this one. 
Uh, bad factor organizations. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give this one first one. Out. And bad French organizations next. The formerly French-controlled regions of Western Germany have been unruly for a long time. French nationalism is, of course, widespread. And French cultural and political organizations have strong roots in the region even now. Blaming them could suppress French nationalism or could serve to inflame tensions and ra radicalize the population. The communists of France would not be happy either way. Oh well. Who cares what they want? Fun by and good. Food from Middle Africa. Thanks to an, uh... <clears throat> Intent to the initiative of the new colonial administration, and Alafka is, of course, but now producing grains and canned goods or food in significant quantities, enough so that it remains or relieves some of the pressure on our domestic industry. Without the new colonial administration, this kind of benefit would be, not be possible. Never another Schwein mod. Very good. Build those civvies up. We need a massive industry eventually. Oh, look at that. Deutsche Luft Expedition. They're still killing it down here, huh? They're killing something at least. Or the planes. Not see a lot. We've maxed out fuel even though we're training, training, training a whole bunch here. Holy crap, 1.8 a day? 1.7 a day? Nice. Good job, guys. You only send 20? It's funny even sending planes then. Well, Hans von Sieg's uh, funeral. Our chief of general staff, Hans von Sieg, has died today in Berlin. They had the intervention and chance passed away peacefully, of course, in his sleep. Uh, I don't want to lose here too much, so there you go. Uh, the Berlin, uh, in Berlin, uh, the hero of the intervention, of course, our nation is mourning the loss of a true German hero. And all important dignitaries were in attendance at his funeral in Berlin. Afterwards, the chief of the army, August von Mackensen, could be seen whispering something to the Kaiser in private. It was revealed shortly thereafter that von Mackensen intends himself to retire. Farewell to you both. Oh. No. 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 A Christian trade union. And ban the French organizations, but happy in 1937, everybody. Expand Babelsberg. The Babelsberg Film Studios have long replaced Hollywood at the most influential film industry of the world, however. On movies as far as removed from politics as possible as, as anything but supportive of the state. Some producers named Lenny Riefenstahl have proposed some projects that with our funding could help remind the Germans of the glorious past and, of course, their future. I don't trust any goddamn Russians. Good luck. Five divisions will hold hold off the entire Russian army. Right? Right? Reparations paid. Well, darn it, that sucks. Um, we need more. We need way more motorized. What engineers? We don't have enough. Good luck. Oh, Argentinian trade delegation. Look at that one. As one of our largest import partners, the struggling Republic of Argentina has reached out to our trade ministry, begging us to make an exception on the increased tariffs we impose on non-middle European middle European nations. Since their economy is virtually entirely dependent on us, we can put the squeeze on them and try to force them into signing a less favorable agreement. Should they, however, take this opportunity to shift their interests to the Entente, it will cut us off from the vital agricultural exports which could give it rivals in the Entente advantage of the Americas. Neither loyalty? We'll get the full effects of the treaty after it's ratified in the Buenos Aires? What's a few extra marks between friends? Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Anti tank, we could. We'll get some more construction speed first. Are we getting attacked down here yet? Probably somewhere here. I guess I'm here. Babble's bug. 
Final centralization, you want to lock the path. It's important you don't complete this focus before 93rd Thursday elections. Okay, so we got to keep the how the bad times rolling for now, so. That sucks, but the state of the economy. That's good, really. The, sure. The industry. Oh, look at America's dying. Uh, it's humming. The grain is coming in from the eastern member states of the Reichspact, and many citizens have work. It's a beginning to look up for the Kaiserreich, and it seems like nothing will be able to stop the golden age of the Reich. Reich's Council of Tirpitz. Food from Middle Africa again. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Thanks, guys. We can, that's exactly what we could use right now. More support equipment. That be lovely. Finland the Reichspact. Finland has unofficially been allied with Germany since 1917, as they've been a part of the Middle Europa ever since then. However, now that they've stabilized their government, the membership of the Reichspact should be renewed. We've known any new the Finns. Welcome back. Hey, Finns. Elections are 37. Oh, no. Today, the German people will elect a representative to the Reichstag. Hopefully, they choose well. The elections have been entirely fought, and the results are awaiting much, with much anticipation. The fate of several parties and, of course, Kaiserreich itself could be decided today. If the Social Democrats manage to secure enough votes, the realist wing of the Social Liberal VF, FVP will form a coalition with them. Another possibility would be a coalition of nearly all liberal and bourgeois parties, the L NLP, FVP, and Bobby and Splinter Party, BF. Uh, BVP against the predominance of the DKP led by the beloved by line of Africa, Paul von Leder Borbeck. Or the DKP could just continue the comfortable majority. Well, you shall win. So, and then wait for the German elections for the Reichs Council. Oh, it's the Reichs Council. When you get social liberalism and democracy, the Rhine Lore is the new aggressive coalition, market liberalism, change, who needs change? And the Reichs. It doesn't really matter who we get here. So, this probably makes it easier for us. So, uh, there you go. Oh, okay, cool. Then finish a Polizei Alf Gaben Gazette focus. A new Reichs Councillor. Under the Constitution of uh, 1871, there, uh, <clears throat> there's no formal government in the Reich Kaiser Reich. Instead, the Kaiser appoints a person of his liking to the post of Reichs Councillor, but then fills the state secretary post of the Reichs Leitung, the Reichs Administration. Even though the DKP defended the Reichstag majority in the elections, this does not mean the Kaiser is to keep Fra Franz von Papen. Who should we do? Is he the dude for the job? Bruning? Von Schleicher, the Kaiser Troya Alternative. Hmm. Okay. Okay, why not? Sure, why not? Now, this one next. Polizei Algaben Gazette. Because of the threat from the international, we cannot afford to endanger the security of the Reich through improper liberalization. It'd be best if we ensure, to ensure that there is still a Reich in the future. Well, the Blacks are. So we should. Uh. Well, look at that. Expand the powers of our police so they can better enforce the law in these dangerous times. As for the reforms, our police will soon understand that they are only, that we're only acting for their own goods, and that we'll, we'll continue them as soon as the situation allows. Yeah. And don't let the newspaper think this is Mark's point of return. Mark's political power would be nice. Goes bankrupt. Our decision to try and keep the Deutsche uh, Kaiserliche Abessian Eisenbahn uh, oh boy group uh, running was a detour sided one. The DKAEB, despite an attempt to revive it, has gone bankrupt. Oh, bro, that sucks. That sucks, bro. Sucks to be you. Huh. Calum into France. Austrian Empire do be looking kind of thick. We like how thick they are. Wait, did they explode? Yeah, Transmer just exploded. Okay. Good job, Stark. Good job. Ah, uh, more naval XP, which, you know... Cost way too much right now, but that's okay. And let's end this episode with one more. It's something about a newspaper eventually. If you want to lock it, it's important that you don't complete this before the elections. Well, we just had the elections. Ooh, or sort of the Bundesrat. Well, we can't do that one. Because right now, we're Paternal Autocrats. So we'll see what happens. Final reforms. Actually, do this one. I guess next we're going to do this one, right? Arbeitsdienst. The contacts and friends of Groner and military circles have now proposed a radical innovation. For the duration of the crisis, recruits will be able to choose to fulfill a half a year of military service as manual laborers and state service instead. While bad for recruitment numbers, this will inject so much new labor into the economy, which will probably conclude today's episode. Which, actually, let's take a look here. Metal Europat versus Europa Commission. That's not bad. This is, looks better overall. Which one should we do? Should we go with Europarat? Europarat. Or European Commission. Let me know in the comments below which one we should do. Well, I guess it's next time. I guess we'll have this option as well. We'll have this one, this guy, Counselor and his loyal friends. The Junkers have secured great influence versus the Counselor and the Stadt Hitler. Which way should we go? Should we do, uh, basically, I guess it, technically it would end up being drinks with Crown Prince, which we should do anyways, right? Yeah. Which way should we go? Counselor and his loyal friends versus the Counselor and the Stadt Hitler. 
let me know in the comments below. But, hey, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when the world is really going to turn to crap. Thanks for watching, have a great, great German rest of your day.